So I know you're looking at the title of this video and thinking, say it ain't so, TMV, tell me that Clove isn't that bad. And the truth of the matter is, in ranked, Clove is good. Play Clove in ranked. Not on Breeze, but if you want to play Clove in ranked, it's absolutely fine. Good agent in ranked. But at high level pro play, Clove's not very good. Let me explain why Clove won't be seeing a lot of pro play. And let's start off with the good parts of Clove. What are the good parts of Clove? Well, smokes are just generally pretty decent ability. Right? They provide you a kind of decent level value pretty much no matter what. As long as you don't throw them in troll positions. Uh, smokes are just pretty good. So that's good. And really probably the best part of Clove's kit is the, you know, the death. We still get the smokes after the fact, right? This, this is good. Right? I don't know why it spawned me back there, but you know, this, the smoking after death thing, this is this is a useful thing that you will find value from. So, the smoke side of things are pretty good. The other part of Clove's Kids, which is pretty good, I think, is the ult. Uh, the ult is, is pretty good. It's a bit situational, I will say, but there will be situations like this in a kind of post plan or whatever, uh, that when uh, you, uh, you die in a post plan or a retake or something like that, the ult will be good. Now, it is somewhat situational, as I say, because, of course, there will be times where, you know, you die, like, in the first, after you dismiss part, you know, then they just kill you straight away. Or in this part where they just run away from you, you know, and you can't get a kill or damage assist to survive, that that happens to you, right? That will be a problem some of the time. But as I said, in retakes, post months, those kind of things, they won't have time to just run away from you. So there will be times when it's pretty good. The problem with the ult, though, again, is that it is going to be somewhat situational, right? Like, you're not going to want to pop the ult when you're in your teammates in a 1v5, for instance, right? You're not going to want to pop the ult if it's pretty obvious that you don't have an easy escape and you're just going to die and they're just camping your body, right? There also might be situations where you first get your ult online, but then you just don't die for the next two rounds, right? Which means that you only might get one ult for that half because you never actually had the chance to use it. So those are some of the weaknesses with the ult, but obviously having a res if you can get it off and survive, is going to be pretty strong. But then there's the part of Clove's kits, which I just don't think are very good. I had high hopes uh, for this thing, which one, the medal. I had high hopes for this when we saw it on the uh, trailer. I thought this was going to make someone 1 HP, uh, is what I thought it was going to do, but it doesn't. It does 90 damage instead of Decay that then uh, heals back up, as you can see just there from my health. And uh, it, hit te it hits teammates, obviously, as you can see, uh, I'm getting hit by it. So it will hit teammates as well. Uh, but really, the problem is not just the ability, right, and, and what it does, because you will find value from it, right? There will be times when it does get you value, um, and that's fine. But really, the problem I had with this is that if this ability was going to be good, I was thinking of, like, oh, all the combos that you can do. But the combos you can do have been severely limited by the fact that you can't throw it that far, and it will just explode midair. Right, so for instance, let's say let's say I'm trying to do something pretty basic, right? Let's say I'm trying to hit right someone here. back on stairs here, right? You would think that something like this yeah, would be, yeah. you know, pretty simple to do, but actually it's not that simple to do with this, right? You have to like really hit it in like the perfect spot, and even then you might not even hit them, right? Like it really isn't that easy to use, and there is just going to be a lot of you know portions of map. Let's say here, right? Let's say I was trying to throw one right in here. towards kind of you know uh, into cubby or short here, right? Like, and I don't want to be exposed myself and be out here, right? You don't want to, you can throw it from here and it will hit, right? That's good. That's what you want. The problem is from back here where I want to do it from a safe position, not so easy to do, not so easy to hit. Probably won't hit someone all the way back here because it doesn't go far enough. So that means that I can't combo it with other abilities that, you know, might give us a kill, like a shock dart or something, right? I can't do it because it just explodes before it actually gets there. Right? Like, that is a severe limitation of this ability that, again, for, like, high-level pro coordinated play, like, you want to be comboing abilities. We're very much moving into, you know, more and more combo style of abilities, right? Like, as Valorant develops, that's kind of the way that we're going. And this thing just, the range is so small that it won't combo, right? There will still be times and areas of the map that, you know, can make it work. Something like this, right? Looks pretty good. But it also gets blocked by little bits of geometry as well, right? So if I throw it there and your opponent is here, they don't get hit by it, right? So again, if I did do one that was like here, but they're down here, they actually don't get hit by it, right? So there's just so many limitations to this ability that I think severely limit its, its use in general. Um, that will make it pretty hard uh, for Clove to find good value from. And then we have the Q as well, which is called uh, Pick Me Up. And look, this thing, it, it's a heal and a stim beak. I can't even use it because no one else is in the server. Um, and anytime you get an ability like that, you know, if I can't show you what an ability is here, 
that normally means it's not going to be that good because again it means it's going to be very situational and you have to think right with this ability to even use it first of all i need a kill or damaging assist so there's one limitation i need to have that to be able to use this ability so that's one thing the second thing is then really to get good use out of it i need to have taken damage as well it's no good if i want tap someone if i want tap someone and kill them I still aren't going to use that ability because it's not really doing much for me. And then even if I do get a kill or a damaging assist and they have damaged me and then I get the heal, I can still get one tapped and I've got no real use from that ability again. So there's a lot of like situational problems with this ability, right? That it's just not going to be that good in a lot of situations, right? To actually get good value from this ability, a lot of things need to go right. And that's not often going to be good, <laughs> right, for, for what, what you want from an ability. So, yeah, uh, basically the Q is just too situational to be a good ability. Another problem that you might have as Clove as well is you might want Clove to be your sight anchor, right? To come and anchor a sight so that, you know, if Clove does die, uh, you know, you still have the smokes for the after plant, right? You can still, it, it, you know, after you die, you, oh, I can still smoke off the choke point. I can smoke off the spike. We're still in a good spot for this retake. And you might think... That's a really My good idea. The sides. problem with that idea, though, is, well, a, a couple of problems, I really. The first one is, of course, if you are it. playing solo Clove on a map, you kind of can't have Clove as a solo sight anchor on this map because you won't be able to smoke off the other side of the map. Right? Like, so if they're coming towards B, unlucky, right? Just, just not going that well. And the thing is, for me as well, if you want Clove to sight anchor, I want an agent who can anchor a site. I don't want my site anchor to die. I don't want to be playing a 4v5 retake whether we still have smokes or not. I'd rather you just be alive, right? And be able to shoot back. That's what I would prefer. I would prefer you to right stop here. them at the choke point and don't let them in. You know, that's my ideal of a site anchor. And the problem is, pretty much all the, most of the other controllers have better abilities than Clove at I'm being able to do that, right? Like, this metal thing here, is okay. It will stop people... Sometimes, right? It's, it's like it's 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 an okay ability, but it's not as good as a lot of the other controllers' abilities when it comes to right stopping here. people getting through a choke point. And so, yeah, Clove isn't that great at actually uh, stopping people coming in, in my opinion. And I would rather your side thing and not die. So you might end up with Clove playing in mid instead because you want to be able to smoke off both sides of the map, right? You don't want the range restriction to be there. But then, of course, you run into the problem of if you know you do die. Uh, you know, in the middle of the map or whatever, and they've, uh, you know, then you don't get the use of the of the smokes after death necessarily. So that becomes a problem as well. So there's kind of a bit of a, you know, a little choice to be made essentially of what exactly you want to do. Like for instance, if I died here and they ended up going, hey, you know, I'm not really helping the team necessarily that much with the smokes after death. And so now let's take a look very quickly at each of the actual maps and talk about whether Clove has a chance of seeing any play on those maps. And let's start by not just looking at one map in Ascent, but I want to look at all of the Omen maps, right? So this is Ascent, Lotus, Split, and Sunset, where Omen is kind of the clear primary controller, uh, at least right now. And the problem that Clove is going to have on all of those maps is that there is no way that Clove is better than Omen. There is just no way that Clove is better than Omen on any of those maps, right? It could be a range problem on certain maps. Certainly for a, a pretty big map like Lotus, there's going to be some range issues for Clove. But it's not just that, right? It's just Omen is just better. There, I have nothing else to say to you, but Omen is just better, right? The flash is good. You know, little repositions with the TPs are very good. There is just no way that Clove is going to be better than Omen on really any of those maps, in my opinion. Omen is just better between, you know, if you consider Omen's passive, to be, you know, the little one ways that you can do as well. You know, on all of those maps, there are some nice little one ways that you can do with Omen. Or the Flash is just OP in certain angles on all of those maps. You know, or the TPs just give you very good repositions. You know, like being on top of Rubble on Lotus or something. There's just no way that Clove can compete with what Omen is doing on really all of those maps, in my opinion. And some of you might be thinking, well, hold on. What if I play Clove as a secondary controller alongside Omen? And the point I would make to that is, well, you're probably just trolling then because there's no way that Clove is going to be a better secondary controller than Viper. There is simply no way in this world that what you have just done made any sense. On Bind, Clove's main competitor, of course, will be Brim. The problem that Clove is going to have on Bind is the three smoke problem. That if we all decide to run down long, let's say, and we all come in this way, I can right smoke here. this in CT, right here. but we might also want to smoke in here right as here. well into Hooker because we haven't necessarily cleared that and we don't want a crossfire of someone on site and someone in this in, in the Hooker window 
you know, just destroying us as we come out onto site. So Clover's going to have maybe that problem slightly. Um, obviously, you probably will be playing with a Viper as well. So, I mean, maybe there's some things you can do to kind of fix that. And now, on this map of mine, though, I, I suppose that this metal ability, you know, will be... The range won't be as big of a deal, I guess, uh, for this. Although, I mean, although, you know, there is still things you would wish you could do, right? Like, there, you know, like little lineups back here or whatever to look shower these. that's just gonna explode into the sky and do nothing for you right like there are still some things that you wish you could do uh but it's probably not gonna be as big of a deal on bind but i still think between the three smoke problem obviously the brim molly the brim ult just good for this map there's really no other way of putting that so i do still think probably brim will be a better option but you know at least there's maybe some arguments to be had for clove on this one but even then i would say you're probably better off with harbor or omen on this map as well next up is breeze don't play Clove on Breeze. Now let's come to Icebox, which is maybe actually the one map I could see Clove getting some play. The reasons for that are, well, one, there's a kind of a gap that, you know, you could fill. You don't have to play a Duelist on this map. So if you wanted to go, you know, for no Jet and Clove instead, that actually might not be the worst idea in the world, right? Other agents like Omen, you know, do have some decent properties on this map, but... You could definitely see a world where, you know, you're trying to play aggressive on defense, you know, you die somewhere as Clove, you get your one and you die, whatever, right? You die in this kind of spot. Um, but then your smokes will come in, right? This is a map where you are going to be playing in a lot of retake situations. That's just going to naturally happen on Icebox anyway. So being able to, you know, smoke off the spike and being able to smoke off choke points, you know, after death might actually be more useful on this map than it is on some others. Just because of the way you're going to, you know, the, the way the map plays out in you general. Know you know that's probably just going to be the case so there definitely could be some useful clove on this obviously we've seen reina get played on this map before as well so maybe you know you could use some of those reina type abilities as well and, and try and find some value from that uh so i do think that there is a possibility here for clove on this map also you know for using the extra smokes that we don't normally see you might be able to you know attack into mid a bit more right like hey we can we can if someone puts a turret up on boiler like hey we can we can smoke off that turret right and actually try and threaten this a bit more and you know try and get a bit more creative or, or even you know just use the extra smokes if they put a turret in kitchen or something right just just smoke it off they might not even realize right and just sneak all the way up all those kind of things might be somewhat useful uh to do and you know helping your viper out as well with the fuel right whenever the fuel goes down you can still smoke things off so I do think that this is probably the map where you might get some some level of clove. So, look, clove will be good in ranked if you want to just, you know, go for that, then that's fine. In ranked, clove will be good, but in terms of high level play, I just there's in my opinion there's just no way that clove is better than omen and in double controller, you should always be playing viper as your secondary controller. If you're not, you're just trolling. So, yeah. I just don't really see a way for Clove to really make a big impact on the meta. Maybe there's some case for Clove to be made on Icebox, but that's about it.